Hello, my name is Sam. Uh, today I'm really happy to come here in order to teach you uh, more grammar lessons. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to teach you another adjective club, but at this time, adjective club is a little bit different from the previous ones. You know what is it about? Today, a relative pronoun as an object, but uh, this object can be left out. You remember a uh, relative pronoun you have learned? Uh, who? For persons, you for both subject and up, object whom, only object for a per, person which uh, function as a subject and an object for a thing that can be used as a subject and object and it used for both a person and a, a thing. You know the, the function of those relative pronouns as a subject and object and two types of adjective clauses. Uh, defining relative clauses and non-defining relative clauses and we have uh, other name but this one I, I prefer defining relative clauses and non-defining relative clauses today only defining relative clause taught to you you know why talking about non-defining relative clause when relative pronoun function as object uh, it cannot be let out when uh, relative pronoun used in uh, defining relative clauses can be left out when it functions as an object. So look at the board with me. Adjective clause, relative pronoun as an object of, of verbs. Simple sentence, the man works in the bank. You love him very much. So we can write uh, adjective clause like this. The man who you love very much work in the bank. So adjective clause from who to very much. Adjective clause. Who here is object? Because who replaces him? Him is object. That's why who also object. We can write in one more way. The man whom, not only who but whom also possible in here. Adjective clause. Modify noun. Man. One more is that oh, the man that you love very much. Yeah. So. In this adjective clause, we have three. It, it is a person, you can use who, whom, and that when relative pronoun function as an object. But when we can see relative pronoun as object like this, we can leave it out. So we can have another adjective like this, the man. Without any relative pronoun, you love very much, work in a bank. From where to where is adjective clause? So it's still from you to where, very much is adjective, adjective clause. The first example we can write in four ways. One, if we use who. The second one we use home, the third one we use that, and no need to use any relative pronoun when relative pronoun uh, function as an object. So we can leave it out like this. It is still an adjective clause, but no relative pronoun at all when it function as an object. Uh, example two, I like the book. You bought it for me yesterday. I like the book. Which? Yeah, which is a relative pronoun you bought for me yesterday. So, uh, from which to yesterday is adjective, adjective clause, modify noun the book. I like the book that you bought for me yesterday uh, because uh, the book is the thing. We can use two relative pronouns, that and, and which. But if you want to omit it, so you can write another. I like the book. No need to use any relative pronoun. You bought for me yesterday. After writing this, so from where to where? It adjective clause. Well, it's still from you to to the, the end of the sentence. Adjective, adjective clause. But this one, no need to use any relative pronoun. Again, uh, relative pronoun as the object of verb can be left out 
In the example, you can see when relative pronoun function as an object, we can write in in four way. One with who, whom, that, and the last one without who, whom, that. It is still called adjective clause. But uh, the question is uh, of uh, the four sentences. So which one is the best answer? So the answer is very easy. The best answer is with whom because it is it is used for a per a person and then whom a function as only of object. That's why whom is the best answer. How about the thing? So this one we talk about object or verb only. About the thing we can write in three ways. One when a, a relative pronoun as an object we can use which we can use that and without which or that like this. But the question is, of these three sentences, so which one is the best answer? It's still, which is the best an answer? So this one only in informal. Okay? I'm going to teach you the relative pronoun and its formula. Okay, go with me there. Adjective clause, introductory words within adjective clause, relative pronoun. So look at here. Football, of which is the most popular American sport, began at Howard University. What is the function of which here? Which is sub subject? So after subject is verb. Okay. And one more. Sam, who loves you? Is my teacher. Who loves you? Here is adjective. Adjective clause. Modify Sam. What is the function of who? Who function as a subject because after who is a verb. People that use microwave ovens save time and energy. So the adjective clause from that to microwave oven. So it is ad adjective clause. Modify people. What is the function of that? After that is verb. That's why that is, uh, uh, is a sub is subject. According to these three examples of Adjective clause, we can write it formula, relative pronoun as a subject, it formula is that. Uh, we know that before who with that here is antecedent noun, uh, head noun. After who with that, plus verb, plus it complement. So who with that in here, function as a subject. So after who with that, you have to write verb. So when, when you can see who with that, which are relative pronoun, and after the is verb, so you can say that it is subject. One more. The address that he gave me was incorrect. The address. He gave me adjective clause. Modify the ad address. That is the man whom you love. Whom you love is the adjective. Adjective clause modify the the man. The buy which you bought for me was stolen yesterday. Which you bought for me is adjective clause modify the the buy. But you can see the buy you bought for me. No need to use relative pronoun. We also call it adjective clause because when relative pronoun here function as the object. In restrictive clause or defining clauses, it can be left out. All right. So the adjective, adjective clause. After seeing all the example here, we can write it formula like the relative pronoun as object. We can write whom, mm -hmm, which, that. This uh, this symbol indicate that relative pronoun is left out or free plus subject plus verb plus complement so you can see the difference between relative pronoun as a subject and relative pronoun as an object relative pronoun as a subject after who with that it is a verb but relative pronoun as an object after whom with that it is a subject and after subject we have verb and complement again in order to uh, recognize that a relative pronoun as, as a subject, you can look at the relative pronoun first. Uh, after relative pronoun is a verb and complement, then that relative pronoun is the sub is subject. But when you see 
relative pronoun like this and after relative pronoun it is a, a subject plus verb plus complement so uh, it is an object okay so i think uh, this comes to the end of my presentation thank you very much for watching my video and don't forget to watch more and more video okay see you later bye bye